In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a few different Web 2.0 tools that I've been learning to use with my class and my students. Um, these tools have been useful for many different reasons. Let's start with Glogster. Uh, Glogster is a way to create a poster online. Um, what students can do is they can actually embed videos, they can embed photos, they can uh, put information on there. Um, and it's a free website. All of these tools are free. Uh, I'll show you one or two that my students have created. This one was on energy. Uh, gravitational energy and motion energy. You can see that there's some um, different different objects that can actually move. There, you can embed videos in here, but she doesn't have a video on this one. Um, I'll show you one that does have a video. You can click on it and you can play the video directly within uh, inside of the clock. This video was actually made with photo booth, so the student was able to create the video kind of just like I'm doing right now without much preparation, without much practice, within a short amount of time. Um, and then just embed it right into the blog and post it. Uh, these are collaborative tools, so students can be working on this with others as well at the exact same time. Um, the next Web 2.0 tool that I'd like to show you today is called Prezi. Prezi.com is a free website for, uh, it's kind of the new way of doing slideshows, like a PowerPoint or a Keynote, um, but it's basically one large slide, uh, and you can zoom in and out to see various parts of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and press play through this one on nuclear energy. Uh, I'm going to go through it much faster than you would normally go through it if you were presenting it to a group. But this is one that my students created. Uh, they're in an energy debate right at the moment. And <clears throat> they had to list the pros and cons of their energy source. And you can see as you press play, um, you just go basically step by step. And um, it gets a little dizzying, but uh, in general it's a pretty nice way of doing things. You can see that uh, we're zooming in and out but at the same time we're all on one slide and we're getting different information uh, within, within the one presentation. So one thing that they didn't do is they didn't embed images or information inside of other images. You can do that so you could actually zoom in. Let's say we take this U and we zoom right into the U. There could be a, a photograph inside of there that we can look at as we zoom in and out. Um, but they've got rotations in here. They've got some nice graphics, some different use of color. Um, and you can get information from their presentation. All right. Uh, after Prezi, I'd like to show you some uh, ways of using Google Docs. I've used both Google Docs and Google Presentations with my students. Uh, a few different ways that we've used Google Docs is um, when a student, when my students are reading a, a novel and doing a novel study, um, I'd like, I like them to take turns summarizing the day's reading. So they, they would do this for homework. They can do it by themselves or with their partner. They can take turns or work together. Um, I'm able to comment on their work, uh, give them suggestions, give them feedback, um, and they're able to keep revising it as they go. One nice thing about Google Docs is it's a work in progress. It doesn't have to end when the assignment is due. You can have them continue to work and improve. So here's an area where we could continue to improve. Um, another way I used Google Docs is I had my students write a, um, a constitution for our colony that we're building in Mars, our pretend colony. Um, we studied five different countries preambles and we together, all 21 students in my class and myself, were all in the exact same Google Doc at the exact same time and we ended up typing and writing uh, a preamble to our constitution and then the next few days we actually wrote an article one, two, and three which is our legislative, executive, and judicial branch of our of our like our constitution, our government on Mars. Um, <clears throat> the last day that we did it, I was actually not there. We had a substitute, but I was able to participate from my meeting that I was at and comment to them, and they were able to comment back. I gave them feedback, and they gave me feedback as well. I use Google Presentations as well. Um, I like to use Google Presentations as a way of reviewing or summarizing um, information that's been learned. So here's one that we did on weather, um, weather phenomena. Now, none of these things were really studied in our um, weather unit, so the students were just asked to try to come up with as many different weather phenomena that they could. And we also did one for our history, which we did study. We did the history live chapter, and then students summarized the chapter somehow in their own words, um, but they added photographs, and um, I, we think that this might be useful for students in other schools who are doing the same thing. And then we have our science fair project on here. Um, we're teaching a slide or two at a time and students are adding, adding information to their slides as they go. So these are the many different ways of using uh, both Glogster, Prezi, and the Google Docs, Google Presentations. Hope you learned something and I hope you'll tune in for future episodes or future tutorials. Thank you.